Hey y'all, how are you? I hope you're doing well today. If you're new here, I'm Kelly. Welcome back to Bok Bok Bouquet. So I'm just going to take you with me on my little errands today. I'm going to be refilling our bird's feeders. I want to share with you something that we're doing a little different. Um, one of the beautiful things about farming and raising chickens and just life in general is there's so many different ways you can do things there's no one right way to do thing don't take what i say as like absolute law that's the beauty of everything is that there's so many different ways you can do things like one thing we're gonna try is this will be like our second year that we've been putting our flock on grower we usually have them on layer all year and whoa luna and this winter we're gonna put them on grower i'm not gonna i'm not lying what i'm telling you last night we collected three eggs we have about 60 birds here and we collected three eggs so they're going into their winter molts we're collecting less eggs so they don't need as much calcium because they're not making eggs so we're going to be upping their protein putting them on grower for years and years and years my entire life i've always just kept <laughs> That's a nut tell us she's a nut. I got a nut and a loon right here. Hey! And for years and years, I've always kept my flock just on layer all year round, and that's always been fine, but lately. All right, I'll finish my story with a walk. The goats. Okay. It's always been fine to have them on layer, but you know, it doesn't hurt to. Calcium can be a little hard on their kidneys, so you know, I'm just gonna switch them to grower. We feed scratch peck feeds, layer or grower. So, and I know you're gonna think I'm crazy that I whipped them up a little scrambled egg snack. I'll, I'll show you me giving that to them. Now you're like, Kelly, you just said you got three eggs last night. How are you gonna feed them eggs? Well, um, we sell like, as much eggs as we need to sell and we still have enough for our family and the eggs they usually scramble up for our chickens to give to them as treats it's our little bantam eggs we don't sell the bantam eggs and i usually eat duck eggs i prefer them so there's always plenty of eggs still around here even if a few days we don't get that many that go around for all of us we can share <laughs> y'all are crazy yes this is luna she's my loon and here's nutella the nut oh my gosh they love scratch and peck feeds too. Come down. No. No. It's not for you. It's not good for you. It's chicken food, not goat food. Okay? Okay. Yeah? Is that so? Mm hmm. Yeah? Okay, I'm back. I had to put the baby chibis the goats away because they were just causing so much destruction with the camera and i had to wipe off that sweat mustache i am so sorry you had to see that do not be that friend why didn't you guys tell me if you're ever sitting next to your friend and you notice they got something in their teeth or something on their face and then hours later they look in the mirror and they notice it and they're like why didn't you tell me don't be that friend let them know so another thing we like to give them to up their protein is we're gonna give them a lot of um black oil sunflower seeds we prefer it has a higher fat content it helps them regrow their healthy feathers from the mold that it makes them nice and waterproof and oily so that's another good like winter time tree we like to give black soldier fly larva we have friends that do cans of sardines and tuna i don't really like to shop for canned meats for my birds but that's something that people like to do you could do that as well or some people do cat food and stuff we over here we usually just do the scrambled eggs or the bug treats or the seeds that'll help them because yep that molt is starting and some birds will go into their molt around this time of year some birds will wait another few months some young birds that just started to um, lay eggs for the very first time their very first year of life may go into an early molt right now some may not molt at all their first year you may get eggs all winter we don't have any new young babies that we added to our flock this year so we won't be getting as many eggs as we did last year because those young ones really are powerhouses when they lay their first year of life we our, our chickens are our pets to us so <laughs> it doesn't really matter how many eggs we get from them like uh that's just kind of the added bonus um we get plenty of eggs and we get plenty of love from them and the most important thing to us is all the affection and love we get from them but yeah i do um enjoy the eggs from them and maybe that's why i have so many chickens 
do I need a lot of love or do I need a lot of eggs? I don't know which it is, okay. But yeah, we didn't add any babies, so we will be getting less eggs this year. And another way that we're gonna try to like up our production is spoil them with treats. But we do always have oyster shell supplement available to them free choice. It's a slow release calcium and they self-regulate how much they need. So they'll pick at it as much as they need to to produce their eggies and contractions to lay the eggs. Yeah, they don't just need calcium to make shells. They need it also for the contractions to push the eggie out. Right, Papita? Yeah. And my poor Pepita right now, she's she's molting pretty hard. No more pretty chocolate eggs from her. You can go down. Go down. <laughs> so what was I trying to say? Come back in that roundabout way about how there's so many right things to do things. One of the biggest questions that I get sent in to me a lot lately is what type of bedding is best? That's not a one-size-fit-all answer. We'd like to film a video on it someday, but we will summarize it here right now is that I think you should try what works for you. Try different things. Maybe you test out one method, another year try another. See what you like better because what I prefer that works for my climate, my area, or what my lifestyle of my habits of cleaning my coop could be different to the way you want to live your life. So. I, I would love for you guys to just try new things, see what works for you, but just make sure that you do have good husbandry and do keep things clean, prevent pests, disease, and keep an eye out on your flock. Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you guys being here and talking to me and hanging out with me for this week. So I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you next week. Thanks so much. Bye. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it, Fab. <laughs>